Hello and welcome to my third video tutorial. This is Chris Kuhn of Kuhn Computer Solutions. Today's topic is going to be on how to change your DNS settings. Now there's going to be a video that I'm going to link to that will be in the description of this video that will explain what DNS settings and servers are and why they're important to your computer. Now you're probably not going to see a noticeable difference unless the DNS server that you're currently using is slow as typically the interaction with the DNS server happens in milliseconds instead of in seconds. But I'm going to show you how to change it anyway. So the first place you're going to want to go to is to this address, which is code.google.com slash p slash name bench. And this tool is going to run a benchmark that's going to let you know what DNS servers you should be using, what's closest to you, and what's the fastest. Now, there are downloads for Mac, Windows, and for Linux. Go ahead and click on the download for Windows. And then once you've downloaded that, go ahead and install it. And then you'll have to click on Start Benchmark to run the benchmark. It might take it a while to run, anywhere from 5 to 25 minutes, depending on how slow or fast your computer is. Once it's done running, it's actually going to pop up this window in, in whatever web browser that you use. And what it's going to show you is, is what's current primary DNS server, if it's faster or slower, and what the recommended settings are that you should be using. It also has some additional information. What you're primarily concerned with are these settings right here, which you should write down on a piece of paper. Now, depending on what kind of setup you have for your computer, if you're using a router, you'll want to change your router's DNS settings and if you are directly connected into your cable modem or DSL modem you'll want to change your settings this way. You're going to want to go down here to the network that you're plugged into right click to open network and sharing center click on local area connection or if you have a wireless connection you can click on the wireless and then you're going to click properties you will have to click continue if you have the user account control still on and then click on Internet Protocol Version 4 and click Properties. Then this setting that says Obtain DNS Server Address automatically you're going to change to use the following DNS server addresses and you're going to type in the primary server that Namebench recommends and this alternate DNS server that it recommends. And you just type those in how you normally would and then you just click OK. I'm going to leave mine the way they are because I'm using the router. Now once you've done that you may or may not notice any speed differences. Now if you have a router, you're going to want to go to your router's uh, basic configuration page and where it says domain name server address, you're going to want to change it from get automatically from your internet service provider, which is what your ISP is, and you're going to want to click use these DNS servers and then that's where you would type those DNS server settings into and that's all there is to it. Now I do recommend that you use OpenDNS if you if it's one of the ones that says it's the fastest because there are settings that you can change on OpenDNS for your network that would make it a little bit more secure you can especially if you have children you know, it'll protect against pornography and adult related sites illegal activity networking sites if you want to block from that you can customize those and it also gives you statistics on what you use but that's the one that I use, and that's the one personally that I like out of all the ones that I've tried to use. 